Good day, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world watching this now. I hope you are all feeling great and ready for another pour with me. Um, it's night time here, and uh, I usually don't do videos at night, but I haven't done any in a couple of days, and I feel like I need to do one, so I'm just going to have to excuse all the shadowy things happening i'm sitting down right now so and today i'm going to be using these pigments they are lares warm magenta uh, soft white cinnamon spice and deep purple and i'm also going to use my little shimmery catch this check it out how cool is that haven't named it yet but i have uh, uh, I am going to have it in stock very, very shortly. So let's see what we can do. I've already mixed my resin and I'm just going to mix some of these. What do I need? I'm going to use this big one for my white because I want to have a bit of a negative space. So I'm going to put a little bit extra in there because I want it to be um, nice and opaque. And I never worry about how much pigment I put in, just because you can put in as much or as little as you want. This um, powder pigment, for, for those of you who have ordered it, it's quite opaque and it's not a pearl. All the rest of them are pearl, so it looks um, slightly different to the others. And it looks kind of clumpy. Uh, that's because it's just so fine and it sort of sticks together. But... Uh, it, it mixes really well so okay let's go with the deep purple this one is quite nice as well beautiful pearl so the more you put in there <clears throat> the deeper the tone obviously this is a really gorgeous cinnamon spice it's a metallic luster so it's um it's got a really really pretty shine to it as well really shimmery which is cool so I'm putting a bit more than I normally do um, so see what happens and this is a really pretty magenta just gorgeous kind of a pinky color and I think I want to put some of this shimmer, shimmery color. You can maybe help me name it. It's, uh, if you can see, it's got to be very delicate because it's uh, it flies everywhere. Oops, sorry. See that? I'm going to mix it in with my magenta a little bit. And I might put in some inside my oh try not to get it to fly everywhere and white I think I'm just going to leave it as is for now because I want that to be my negative space try not to spill this one it's so fine so for those of you who haven't seen the previous tutorials I usually just cover the pigments with the resin and then mix it into a little paste like so, just sort of helps that um, pigment not to fly all over the place. And you can see that magenta changing color. See, you can see the bits, the powder, you can still see it. And you can also see where the resin is kind of changing a little bit, making it a bit deeper and more pearly. So very gently, that needs a little bit extra because there's a lot more there than I usually do. So I'm just going to mix this up and then I'm going to come back. So I don't want to bore you with the, with the mixing process. But this is what it looks like when you start mixing it. It turns into a, a kind of a loose paste and then you can add resin to it. Okay, so here we are. Ready to get started 
Now I've got these um, all mixed up and you can see some of that shimmer of that pearlescent, pearlescent clear but it not as much as I thought it would be but um, there's still some there because I haven't yeah yeah you can definitely see it in this one okay there we go because I've used it on it on its own kind of in the past so let's go this is going to be I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough so I'm just going to go kind of over here a little bit all right now I think I should be right and some here ideally I wanted to cover the whole thing but I'll see if I can kind of leave that there to, tri to trip a little bit and I'll just use my hands make sure when you're working with white where's me okay have your hands nice and clean if you want to have a nice clean white um, background so I'm just going to go up to the edge I don't want to go all the way and if my board is leaning to one side a bit I'm just going to spin it around that's what I do so it doesn't really matter as long as I've got these two kind of sides covered I'm happy because once I put the the rest of the um, pigments on the board that'll they'll push the rest a bit so it's no problem so I'll just keep going like this sometimes I'm in a hurry and I don't mix in my my pigments properly so I just do it on the board I know that's cheating but it works because you don't want to have um, you don't want to have any lumps or anything like that and that's just me you will see that was a big lump there great because I'm always in a bit of a hurry I get excited I want to get started I wish I could skip the mixing process <laughs> and just have it all ready and just go go with it you just spin it around because it's pulling a little bit to this side. I tape the bottom so that I don't get any mess. Um, this board has been primed just with paint a while ago. So you can still see some of the you know grooves from the, the wood. Um, and it might show in a painting. We'll see how we go. Okay. Whoops, a bit more here. Okay. So I might just get a little bit of this clear around. Like so. And I've got enough clear. I could probably even mix some more white actually. I might do that real quickly. I underestimated the amount. There we go. That was good. I do like the, the clear and the white kind of mingling together. They seem to create some really wonderful depth. But I've got a little bit left. I'm going to add some more always powder first and because I've already contaminated that stick with resin I'm just gonna add a little bit of this white not too much and then add the rest of this in there and just stir like crazy a little bit more white which is going to be excellent just what I need that's plenty just got to give it a real good stir because I haven't done it last time and this white like I was saying it's so fine sometimes it clumps together so you've got to give it a real good stir to break 
break it up because it's made out of different stuff than the the pearls pearls just um, dissolve really really easy so just patience people do what I say not what I do <laughs> do it right the first time <laughs> okay that's good enough so I'm just gonna add some more here just want to have plenty of that white Because those other pigments, once they merge in with the white, they're just going to create magic. We hope. And we shall see. Okay, so there we go. Those clear bits, they're just clear powder. Clear powder, duh. Um, <laughs> that's just clear resin. Also creates some interesting interesting effect just going to go around now I might just uh, give it a little warmth and just pop those bubbles and for that I'm going to use my torch looking around make sure there's no drip itch anywhere okay let's go what are we gonna do what are we gonna do let's go in first with this gorgeous gorgeous deep purple I'm gonna go right in the middle with this one oh yeah I can see that uh, shimmer that's so cool oh and I managed to drip no this is a nice fine kind of stream which really happens to me because I usually get get it kind of running down the cup and I might go with some of this beautiful cinnamon which is uh, it's a metallic so it's got quite a bit of you know shimmer to it so I'm just gonna go maybe go this way now just give it something, you know. Oh, this, this colour is just so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Let's try not to mess up the white for now. Of course, I could use a syringe or a pipette. Makes things much easier and cleaner. So I'm just going to use my heat gun now. That is really cool. And yes, it is shimmery. Whoops, that's pulling that way. Quick spin around oops like so and then let's go in with some more of this cinnamon looks um, very similar to copper go all the way there once we get it merging with the white it's um oh cool I think I hope Okay, so I might just get oh I'm sticking to my gloves. I might just move this over a bit. Get them to mingle, be friends. Speaking of friends, I just wanna um say a few words about my wonderful group and how proud I am of everybody in, in my group. It's uh it's just an amazing place. You know, um a couple of days ago I had uh, somebody I don't even know nobody really knows this person I don't know where she came from and uh, she tried to stir up a bit of trouble in the group within the group about me 
and um, I didn't even have to say anything honestly um, everybody kind of jumped in very graciously uh, there was no nasty words or anything that pretty much just um, told her how it is how it is and um, what the group is all about really because um, I was being accused of kind of pushing my own art and promoting my art when I really do that I you know I um I have this thing going on with Laura where we post a different piece of art on on the on the page um, kind of display and uh, and everybody gets a chance especially newbies you know we we just have this thing we want to encourage them so we rarely have in fact I had my painting uh, on the wall when I first started the group and there was no one there <laughs> so it was just me um, and then you know Laura, Laura kind of uh, put my painting up there once and I think I did hers once and that was it every other time and it's been over a year with just being you know putting other people's artwork there and um, you know making sure that everybody gets a chance to shine so I'm just so proud and so amazed at um, how people handle things in the group it's just um, how I want it you know I don't want any drama anything like that I just want peace and harmony and let everybody do their thing everybody should should be allowed to shine and have a voice in the group Ha! Oh, look at that let's do a little tilting I don't want to kind of spill over the edge I just want some movement and I think I want to get a little bit of I might actually get a little bit of this just coming out maybe very very kind of whew, like that and I might go this way yeah just gonna add some more there go that way and then I'm going to use my stick to kind of pull that. You can't really see the colour now because it's uh, dark and I've got an artificial light on. And But once I get that, um, oh, and I want some more of this. Once I start using that the, the heat gun, it's going to, I can't help myself, can I? I just always have to add some more. Need my lines. More of this. Still have that negative space. Still there. Just not as much. Okay. Leave that be. And let's get the heat gun in. I need that kind of angle whoosh what that just spill over there
check it out the reaction I didn't even look for those I quite like that quite like it I don't want to touch it anymore except for a few little details yeah that's definitely shimmery inside you can see all that glitter oh uh, whatever it is coming up it's so fine and it's coming up to the top but I think I want to add something in the middle just give it a little a little something maybe here on these edges just uh, do a couple of my lines but these look like um, and that's just like a kind of marbly effect just here not the whole thing just there like so and this wow I don't know well I do know it's just pushing that over the top of that white which is a <coughs> an opaque so okay here we go a little bit of this one just on this edge here could do a line just to break it up a bit it's a bit boring there whenever you see some boring bits you gotta zhuzh it up a bit okay that's going to open my door so i can get some air in here try not to disturb all this gorgeousness here there's something happening here which i have to get rid of careful here now really cute I love the way that's kind of falling out of there and this um, deep purple mixed in with that shimmer changed the color a little bit so I want to add some more of it here and try not to muck it up now doesn't work just pull it that's why I do a drag it hate to be a drag but enough time you gotta do it oh wow that's turned into something different that's for sure that is for sure okay torch some more of that pearlescent shimmer on top but I won't it's quite shimmery already as is so I'm just gonna leave it as it is now hey let's have a look I'm gonna try and do it with uh, not as much glare and shadow so yeah that's just where that uh, magenta pulled that white and look at these look at that what it's created these beautiful cells now we're coming up here
there you can see the shimmer it's gorgeous I think if um put more you'll get more more shimmer So I wish I could pick the colors, but I think because I've got the light on and everything, it's not really uh, doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again in another video. Bye for now.